very interesting table in which we have the word Rosh Hashona in red, Rosh Hashona, and this year, which is A Tav Shin Pegimal, which is 5,783. This is really the Rosh Hashona that we are going into now. And this is really the year which is called the year after the sabbatical, like Mosai Shvit. And this is the year that Messiah is supposed to come. But definitely if we keep Torah, Mitzvot, properly. So amazing, you have this best meeting in the Torah of the word Rosh Hashanah with this year appearing in one book, which is Deuteronomy, according to the Vilna Gaon, this book is against our millennia, and only few chapters, Kabdala 24, up to 26, amazing. So what you have here, and what makes this table very significant, first thing is the best meeting, the Torah of Rosh Hashanah, and the year, this year, coming year, and we have parallel, which is also very significant, telling us what is the most important for our prayers. We have the word prayer, the tefillah. What we need in Rosh Hashanah? Teshuvah. You can see Teshuvah, repentance. Amazing, it comes really parallel in such an amazing way. Next to it, you have the word emuna, faith, belief. Belief in God, unbelief goes together. Only one believes in God, faith in God, knows that God gave us Torah, gave commandments for Jews and Gentiles, and they have to keep it. Emunah is the basis of everything, faith, and supposedly to repentance. What more we have in this table is interesting. We have here Messiah, we have a small skip of Messiah, Messiah here, sharing letters with Shin Messiah and you have Elijah will come with Messiah then we have here very important verses which really are important as this is the source of our tranquility about our sins really and what they are Zachorit Yasser Asal Amalek, remember what Amalek did to you. Amalek is the evil the force. The evil angel, and he brought us, unfortunately, to do a lot of sins. Our rabbis tell us that the vacation of Shabbos is a desert. Lack of faith in God, being loose in commandments. And we have the command Timchet, in Chet Zecher Amalek, uproot the memory of the members of Amalek under the sky. Don't forget when you come to the land. Yeah. So how we are doing it when we repent. Then you have here another interesting word, Tzedakah, justice, or charity. I mean, it's the same word which we have to do and prayer. And also to remember Zachorit Yasser Salah Atzal Shem Lukech Alimiyam Remember what God did to Miriam She was spoke slander, you know, against Moses And she was punished with the apostasy So remember this very severe sin of slander And this also one of to definitely rectify When it comes to Rosh Hashanah so important remembrance of the Amalekat, of the root, the source of our sins. And then, do tshuva, repentance, strengthen your faith in God, the new Messiah, with the light of your coming. In other table, if you remember, we did it, but again to remember, we had Rosh Hashanah, also in very small skip, every 76 letters from letter to letter, and write through this Rosh Hashanah came a sentence, every six letters, skip, 
תבל יוניברס בעת אין טיים אוף ג'אדמנט. זה דינק אס, זה את ראש השנה, זה טיים אוף ג'אדמנט, פרס אולוור. אין זה דייט, זה היברו דייט איז א', זה פרס דייט איז אוף תשרי, אמבל יוניברס. Now we have here the word Hamashiach because it comes from Messiah, it also depends on Rosh Hashanah. If you have really properly keep Rosh Hashanah doing Shuvah, yes, we will have Messiah. Now we have here Ishmael because the main conflict between Jews and Ishmael, the Arab Islam, Judah is about Israel and Up in heaven is written that we know every nation have a heavenly angel. That lot of fighting up in heaven. Because the Arabs said, we believe in God. Allah Akbar, God is great. We pray five times a day. So you, God, you should give us the land and so on. So we know this argument in Kabbalah and Zezor. And God said, yes, but you... Yes, whatever you are doing, yeah, it's fine, but they are really empty. What means empty? Not, not have some meaning, but the Jew, when they have all these things, are very, very deep, full of meanings. They will have their land, and they will return back to their land, and then you will, you will have to leave. So Ishmael comes here. We have, in fact, this is okay, but our rabbi tell us in Hebrew that In the end of the sabbatical, we have the Messiah, very interesting verse. This also another, the same idea, you have also your Rosh Hashanah, a universe in judgment, in time of judgment, and the Messiah was. But here we have the face, and here you have very interesting, also you have the date, A in purple, A, Tav, Shin, Pei, Gimel, exactly like we thought, this is 5,783, a time which is really time for Messiah, but we need repentance, we need Shua, we have to keep the Torah in order to reveal Messiah. It's interesting and very important table for our time that we are entering just now, Rosh Hashanah. Very, very important and significant here. So hoping that really we will repent, we keep the Torah, we thank our faith in God, we pray, we love, and remember the severity of slander, the severity of the decrease in the Shabbos, all these things which brought our enemies against us. It's an interesting and significant table for our time.